Hi, today I'll be showing you all of my aquariums. We're starting with the 10 gallon bell tank that is in my daughter's room. It's with uh, my male fighter. I got him a year ago. Had uh, all sorts of troubles. He, this guy went through velvet and he managed to survive. He's really pretty. I got him some friends recently. He looked a bit lonely in his tank. This is why I added these little fellas. I added about 10 of them. They're always on the move. Next up in the hallway is the 20 gallon Tatrandina Oscillicoda tank. You can see my huge Amazon sword there. It's really digging those natural fertilizer balls. I have been giving it. it. Um, my Gudgeons are really nice and pink. Okay, next up in the closet is the uh, peacock gudgeon grow tank on the left is the biggest fry and you can see they're quite large now but they still grow really slowly like really slowly these are some shrimp most of them are pregnant they're really big in this place same basic setup on the other side the driftwood the plants the shrimp the babies but just smaller and this is a uh, ouch sorry those are like uh, CFL bulbs 
they're really effective. You, sh you, you should cho choose the uh, 6500K bulbs. Those are the ones that are closer to the spectrum of the sun. And this is my 46 gallon tank. I must say I am really proud of it. This huge Anubia I, I got for a trade the other day. It's really, really huge. It's broadleaf Anubia. My uh, Anubia Nana Petite right there. Looking nice. My rams all out. This is actually rare that they do that. Usually they each have their own territory. Maybe they're hungry. Really a nice sight. These are my handlers. And the Raminos and the Daniels. All right, I hope you liked watching this. And if you have any comments, suggestions, well, just comment below. Bye.